Okay, with this bowl alteration technique, I'm using a little bit less clay. It's gonna be more of a cup size. So it's gonna have a rounded bottom. I'm gonna leave a little extra clay on the bottom like normal, normal bowls. I'm gonna make my rounded bottom. Press from the outside in. This is going to strengthen the foot, make less cracks. And I always like to collar the material in. This bowl is going to be something like a little a T bowl shape. And then I'm going to alter it. So I'm going to feel like I'm pushing my right hand under my left and pulling out. Maintaining my round foot. And then applying pressure up. I'm going to consider this a drinking vessel. So I always like to taper the inside of the rim out, just ever so slightly. I'm going to be using a flexible metal rib, this curved area right here on the outside. And I'm just going to hold it in one position and press from the inside. I can feel the rib of the material. I'm just going to be making three uniform bands. I'm going to chamois down the rim. This makes a nice soft edge for drinking. I'm going to get all the water out of the inside. I never want to let water sit on the bottom. I'm not going to be making this a clover shape, the similar shaping that we did on the last video. What I'm going to be doing here is I like to get all the goo off my hands if possible. Go ahead and just push forward right here at 6 o'clock. And I'm going to take my index finger and middle finger and just kind of wrap this around the tool. Go to the exact opposite side, repeat. And I sometimes this can be absolutely beautiful just doing two sides. Just like all alterations, you can often come back in after it dries a little bit when it's no longer sticky, has no surface water on the material, and come back in and clean this up a little bit a little bit more. It's amazing how much clay shrinks. You know, this clay shrinks, I think, 13%. So right now, it looks and feels a little bit large for a drinking vessel. But after it's done firing, it's gonna, it's gonna be just about right. Every alteration technique takes practice. But go ahead and give this one a shot.
sometimes a tool wants to just grab. You can see what happens. Luckily it didn't grab and fly off of there. Just want to go ahead and make sure this is lugged down all the way. Hold that tool really steady and you should be able to regain control. You can see it by changing the shape of this foot, making it much smaller, it really is a much more elegant piece than it was before.